I actually did not say any of what she said. <laughs> and the only reason why she can get away with that is because I've known her for very many years. And when she said that she's having the World Teachers Day here today, she asked me to not attend to my event in the Goretti South constituency, which is happening, to be here today. And I uh, honored the invite. Unfortunately, I'm chairing a committee in Bunge, and we shall be sitting at midday. And that is why I had requested to be able to have this moment to just say hello. Good morning, teachers. And I'm really honored to be here on World Teachers Day. And what an amazing theme you have today. The teachers we need for the education we want. And it begs the question, who is that teacher we need for a time such as this? A time when the world is well into the fourth industrial revolution. We are talking about artificial intelligence, the internet of things, robotics, blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, and all these advances that are happening in this time that we are living. It is a great man, Martin Luther King, who tells us that the function of education is to make one to think intensively and critically. And that character and wisdom is the product of a good education. So who is that teacher today in Kenya at a time such as this who will be able to deliver the education we need for this generation and the future to come. And I want you to walk down this road with me. Think about it this way. You're in class and you're teaching today. You're teaching from a book that was written by a man or a woman who is probably 50 years old today. If they're 50 years today, it means that they were taught by a teacher who was taught by Carrie Francis. Carrie Francis must have taught many years ago when Kenya was not even independent back then. Meaning that Carrie Francis was teaching out of a book that must have been written out of another century. A book written probably in the, 19th, in the 18th century. So it means we might be in class teaching something that might be obsolete by the time our learner gets out of class. The child that we are teaching today, we see them every time that the results are out. The child is asked, what do you want to be? And the child says, I want to be a neurosurgeon. That is a big one. A few will say, I want to be an engineer. A few will say, I want to be a lawyer. But what will neurosurgery what will engineering, what will law be looking in the year 2040? At a time when artificial intelligence can fit in a mobile phone and I can ask that phone any question and it will answer with the exactitude and the correctness of an A student. What will exams be looking like in the future when a child is not required to cram but a child is required to know where to go and gather that knowledge. Teachers, lazima tujiite kamukutano, tujiulize, is what we are teaching today relevant for the fourth industrial revolution for a time such as this, for today and for the future. And I want to offer to you that we are here with, at a time when technology is so amazing, we might want to rethink that teacher we are creating today. The teacher might be the person who points the student or the learner to the place where they can gather information. The teacher will no longer be the person who we learned in teaching class. We used to be told that when you walk into the class, the mind of a child is tabula rasa, we would be told that your business is to transfer what you know to the mind of the learner. That time is long gone. The teacher shall no longer be the conduit for transfer of education. The teacher shall be the guide to show the student where to look for knowledge. The teacher 
then becomes a partner in development. And I want to speak as a member of parliament coming from Dagoretti South constituency where we are partnering with teachers to do the most amazing things. In Dagoretti South constituency, we have been able in the last six years to recondition, repurpose and reconstruct all our primary schools. Ukikuja Dagoretti South constituency, utakuta mwalimu anafundisha kwa darasa ambayo inafanana ni kama ni darasa ya academy in a public school. After the reconstruction of our primary schools, with the help of the teachers and the education uh, fraternity, we have been able to, in the last six years, to construct six new secondary schools in six years. We are now finalizing the sixth one. But most importantly, even on the soft issues, we have been able to Maundua. But I am saying this knowing that beyond the brick and mortar, we also want to attend to the soft issues. The Goretti South constituency is the only constituency in the Republic with a comprehensive school feeding program. Today, we shall be serving 22,000 lunches at lunchtime. We have worked with the teachers to make them understand that the work of the teacher in class is not to look for firewood or to look for maize or to look for beans or to transact in the business of a gunny bag. The business of the teacher is to be an instructor in class. And that is why we have Chakula Yakiari in the Goretti South constituency, feeding 22,000 learners every day. Teachers, mine was to provoke you to imagine what the teaching profession should look for today and for the future. I want to finish by reminding us that we all went to teaching school. We all went through the pedagogy of education. We learned about the history of education, the psychology of education. And so we celebrate you today. When you celebrate our teachers, the psychology of education was teaching us that if you want to reinforce an act or a behavior, you reward the good behavior and you punish the bad behavior. So I want to celebrate with you all the awardees who shall be awarded today. And I want to commend the commission right from the chair to the secretariat and everybody in the commission for organizing such an amazing Teachers Day. And we, the teachers of Kenya, feel celebrated today. Thank you very much for this opportunity. My name is John K.J. Carrier, member of parliament, the Goretti South constituency, and the chairman of the committee on communication, information, and innovation. Johnston, you'll allow me to recognize my colleagues who are here. And I want to recognize my colleague also sitting in the speaker's panel, an accomplished teacher by his own uh, right, the one and only Mualimu Omboko Milema is with us. Begiani Makofi, he's a great unionist. Also with us, we have an amazing teacher a leader by her own right, the one and only Honorable Catherine Wambilianga Mpigiani Makofi. And they say, once a teacher, always a teacher. In Bunga, we also say, once an MP, always a Mweshimiwa. I want to recognize Mweshimiwa Tanui, Julius Tanui, he's in the house, also a unionist, Tafadali Mpigiani Makofi. I want to appreciate them because, Madam CEO, these are your partners. As a commission, under Article 237, independent as you're supposed to be, you want to trust these people in Parliament to be your voice, the voice of teachers. When teachers have a problem, utilize the instruments available to us in Parliament. We can ask questions. We can bring your petitions. We can request for statements on your behalf. And when anybody wants to infringe on the right of the commission, as an independent commission, these are the soldiers that will stand on the floor of the house to defend the teaching profession. Thank you very much. Let us keep up the good character of the teacher so that the children who we bring up, when they asked what they want to be, to ski away in Wakisema, they want to be teachers when they grow up. Thank you very much, Walimu. It's a great honor. Thank you so much. And we want to reward you as well for challenging all of us. Future focus.
Kofi Tafadali.